Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Beanie Man calls Ghanaian artist Stone Boy his son and also happy for the hospitalities receiving in Ghana. Popcorn reacts to JPS bill for almost a million dollars to a restaurant owner. Chuck Fender gets married to his longtime girlfriend. Steph Landon exposes her ex-boyfriend Burner Boy as a fake and says the entertainer has changed since he started making money. Shensia reacts to an old video that has surfaced about her on the internet and Kofi and Gunna is now certified silver in the United Kingdom. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a restaurant owner exposing the JPS company, you understand? And Popcorn, among other persons, actually reacted to the bill as it. Now remember, say Vibes Cartel are one of the first person who start speak out on JPS, you know. As he made it clear, so when them find out, say you make a certain amount of money, them actually start increase your bill and them thing, you understand? So we see where other persons differently come out and I say JPS are robbed them and thing. Now this bill that the person show is a bill for almost a million dollars people 900 and something thousand you understand so I'm going to actually show you the post that he made on his Instagram page and also I'm going to call out Daryl Valls I'm going to call them out wicked people trust me me would have called them out as well if you see a bill like that anyway I'm going to get into the actual post and then I'm going to show you what he actually said in the caption is my people so that's the bill that you're seeing on the screen and the current charges is 910,600 hundred and fifty nine dollars and fifty eight cents now people a whole heap of money that the basically the whole breakdown is there when you can pause the screen and look on it and thing you understand and the total charges is 2.1 million dollars people two million a hundred and eighty thousand eight hundred and twenty six dollars and fifty eight cents wow jano star so anyway after the restaurant owner posted that in the caption he said this has to be the most stupid country in the world i operate a restaurant what the f could cause my energy bill to be nine hundred and ten thousand six hundred and fifty nine dollars and fifty eight cents for one cycle at my JPS online. Sir Daryl Valls, this is very demotivating for a young entrepreneur. We can't continue like this. This is why people teeth light. And that is so true. That is why people teeth light. Cause after seeing a bill like that, make me pay that in a people. Me I tell you, say a teeth, yo, me never want to say certain things, yeah, man. But a lot of persons start react to it. I'm gonna actually show you some of the comments them, you understand? So Popcorn actually said Jano, them can't change a BC. Um, Zaga Music said Jaja, Sparky Baby said oh my gosh and next person said this monopoly with JPS has to come to an end, they are really abusing us, overhead cars killing entrepreneurs, the system is designed to have us fail, very disappointing as my people so I'll leave a Romain Virgo in the comment section, Dre Island in the comment section, you know him said Jano. So people, this is very, very disappointing. I'm not telling a lie. This definitely would not make anybody teeth light. And even when you look upon the bill, you know, Zine people, you see all of them charges, they're like FX adjustment, fuel charge, IPP variable charge, tariff adjustment. Some of them, I don't even know what them for. You see me, but all of these add up and basically make your bill super high. You see what I'm saying? And all people, JPS has also said that people should expect an increase in their bill. You see me? And I also think that they're being investigated for saying that. You see me? So, we don't know people. Definitely seem like a lot of um, power abuse are going right about now. And when we say that, I don't talk about people at t flight and them things. They may talk from the company itself. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Steph Landon clapping back after Burner Boy denied her. You see my people? And of course, you know, say Steph Landon and Burner Boy, well, it seemed like them left now, but they were in a relationship. You understand? Now, the artist was spotted with another female. I think she's like some model or something. I'm not really sure. But a lot of persons start calling him out and I say, warm to your wife, Steph Landon. The man actually make it clear, say, him now have no wife, you see my people. So, yeah, of course, you know, say Steph Landon feel hurt and all of that. She actually went to Instagram, or is it Twitter? One of them places she got, I think, at Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. I actually call him out, calling him fake, and say money I get to him and all of that. But as I say, people, him did make a post, and him respond to the people him, on his Instagram page, and him say, and for your information, him now have no wife or whatever, Zine, but some of the words, I guess, are like, um, what you call it, in an African language or whatever. Now, she actually responded by saying, no matter how much 
love, loyalty, or how good you treat someone. People are just not solid and scream real, but are the fakest. Fame and money changes some people. When people show you who they are, believe them. As hard as that may be, God sees and knows. People genuinely need prayers. You see, it's after she posts that, of course, a lot of persons just read into it and know, say, him shall talk about and things. You see, my people, so... Boy, oh boy, I don't know if it's still, but I know say it's a while them two did they together for. But obviously, if a man uh, own you up as his wife or say certain things about you, that man didn't rate you. I just saw me look upon it, you see me? If my woman disowned me a certain way, I hate that, you know, his woman say, especially in a public. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about some good news as it relates to relationship where reggae singer Chuck Fender gets married to him long time woman. His woman say, half a congratulate him and thing. So let's get into this article so I understand what's going on. And as usual, you can leave some comments. As my people, so it says reggae singer Chuck Fender gets married to long time girlfriend. Reggae veteran Chuck Fender tied the knot with his long time girlfriend Abigail Walters on Saturday, December the 18th, the Brooklyn born entertainer whose real name is Leshawn Whitehead had been dating Walters for six years prior. They also have two kids together, Damia and Dalton. Fender, 49, shared a happy occasion with his Instagram followers over the weekend with a series of wedding photos and a toast to his new wife. Six years together with two beautiful children. It wasn't an easy road, but we stick together through thick and thin. Love this beautiful woman dearly, he wrote, adding, had to end this year like this. My queen, my wife, my motivator, my best friend, you know how it go. Cheers to a new beginning. The newly minted Mrs. Whitehead, an entrepreneur of Island Girl Boutique, had a toast of her own and also shared the moment on social media. To my husband, sometimes it's hard to find words to tell how much you mean to me. I tell you I love you to the moon and back, to infinity and beyond, forever and ever. If I did anything right in my life, it was to give my heart to you. You are the inspiration behind all that I do and the source of all that is good in my life. No matter what happens, where we are, or all we both get, I promise to always be by your side and never stop holding your hands. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Love your wife, the Whitehead, she wrote. There was an outpouring of congratulatory responses from Fender's fans, many of which thank him for the update of the events of his personal life. I love the update at Chuck Fender. Right way to do it. Congratulations is in the order. God continues blessing over your union. I just love said one person another added beautiful love is lovely congratulations and i wish you many more years togetherness as for what's going on in his professional life the reggae star released a string of singles this year eternal fire dropped in february and which quickly followed up by tonight that same month another track go for them landed in april and walk by faith last july fender also voice on the gun junk rhythm which by likes of delirang power man brahma Magadan and Nada Ranks. The singer is best known for his hits such as All About the Weed, Guam Plant, Gash Them, and Coming Over with Shereen Anderson. So, yes, people, congratulations to Chuck Fender. Definitely have to big him up. You understand? It's a good move, brother. When you find the right one, you know, just get married to them and done. As long as you know, say it's going to last. And you don't know, say only Father God know the future, you know, people. But we definitely have to big up this union right about now. You know, man? And them have two beautiful kids together. So, of course, you know, say that makes the moment even extra special is what man say but let me know what you guys think about this and oh write some congratulations for chuck fender in the comment section is it my people so moving on to the next topic now so everybody knows a beanie man is now in africa is it and basically he did an interview calling stone boy his son is it because you know them have a good relationship and thing beanie man are doing interviews and all of that so let's get into this article so i understand what's going on and as usual leave some comments so the article says beanie man touched down in ghana for b HIM says Stone Boy is my son. Beanie Man touched down in Ghana for BHIM and gets the VIP treatment from Stone Boy. The Jamaican dancehall legend proclaimed as the king of dancehall is set to rock the stage in Ghana for the return of BHIM concert set for December 21st at the Grand Arena of the Accra International Conference Center. Beanie Man arrived on Monday and has been doing the rounds on various media platforms along with Gahanian self proclaimed African king of dancehall Stone Boy, who he refers to as a son 
in an interview on Prime Morning Show, Beanie Man noted that Ghana was home to him as he prepared to perform on December the 21st. According to Beanie Man, the hospitality received by Stone Boy was incomparable from the minute he landed in Ghana. The king of the dancehall also had high praises for Stone Boy. When it comes to music, Stone Boy is a genius because he is coming from the streets of this city and made himself one of the biggest artists from this city, the dancehall artist said. Beanie Man also spoke about dancehall music's influence from Jamaica to Ghana and the broader African connection based on the Atlantic slave trade from Africa to Jamaica. Meanwhile, Stone Boy says the show will feature various Afro dancehall artists from several cities across Ghana, but they will also get their dancehall fill. Stone Boy also said BHIM, which is actually organized by him, is his own investment in growing entertainment scene in Ghana. Over the years, we have seen the inflows of the shows in December. You'd find that people are interested and there's a lot of investment power in bringing some big names. There was the energy of the influx of artists from across the globe to put us on that map. But prior to that, there has been much investment and you know, behind the scene, it isn't easy. Here lies a case. Instead of waiting on some investment or some investors, I always ensure that Ghana is still recognized on the map. Meanwhile, being a man called on fans to come out to the concert and bring only good vibes. If you know you will not be there to have fun, please stay home, but at the same time, it will be a good night. Just as the name sound, B-H-I-M, means be in so you can't miss the B-H-I-M of Hope concert. Beanie Man and Stone Boy have a song called Sugar, and Beanie Man says the Gahanian was among the first African artists he worked with. Stone Boy is my son, also a brother, a companion, and we have a good working relationship. Beanie Man stated, Stone Boy added, yes, that's right. I heard of him and gained interest in what he does when I was age 17, I used to watch him on the screens and it was a good feeling that we are here today. Meanwhile, there could be more new music for Afro dancehall fans as Stone Boy tees future collabs. According to a statement from Stone Boy's team, the BHIM concert is geared at exposing Ghana's entertainment and music landscape. The Afro dancehall entertainer recently completed a three tour in the United Kingdom, performing at the O2 Academy Islington in London, the Academy 3 in Birmingham and the O2 Institute 3 in Manchester. So yes, people, that is what's going on right about now. Big up to Beanie Man, big up to Stone Boy and Ting. And me just call it B-H-I-M, people. I'm not sure if it's BIM or B-HIM or B-H-I-M it pronounced, but you don't know, say, this is going to be a good concert. You know what say? Beanie Man, as I always say in my video, them is a man we can perform. So I know say I'm going to rock the show and Ting, is it? But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Shensia reacting to a video of her that has surfaced on the internet. You see my people, and basically it's an old video. I want me to say old, I talk long, long time. I don't even think Shensia did boss yet. Well, I don't know from when people, but you can obviously see that she's young and thing. Now in the video, she was singing the guy named Sam Smith, Stay With Me. You don't know that big tune there. I'm going to actually play the video and then I'm going to show you what Shensia had to say about this in the comment section is me some people actually like it but i guess shensi i don't think she sound good but let me know only thing she sound is it so listen this stay with me cause you're all i need this thing love is clear to see but darling stay Why am I so emotional? No, it's not a good look, gain some self-control And deep down I know this never work But you can live with me so it doesn't hurt Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all, 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 all this ain't love is clear to see Oh, won't you stay with me? Oh, 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 o
All right, so after she posted that in the caption, she said, Dog, why the F my friends ain't told me, bruh? Ah, it's the ending that takes me out. I will tell the younger Shensia this ain't talent, it's confidence. Is it? And she put some, I guess, a crying, laughing emoji or whatever. But some people have said them actually like it. You see me? So, on a scale from 1 to 10, let me know how you think Shensia sound in the comment section. You see me, people? I think she sound alright to me personally. But then again, I am not a judge. You see me? She does sound alright. And, you know, better than me because I can't sing. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Coffee and Gunna song. Dublin. I'm now certified silver in the UK and I think that is a very good look. You see how coffee does humble and great things still are going for her. Anyway, let me get into this article, Zine. So it says, Coffee Gunners W certified silver in the UK. Gammy Award winning reggae artist Coffee has earned another Brit certified silver award, this time for her chat W, which features American rapper Gunner. According to the British phonographic industry BPI, W was issued the silver award on December the 3rd after it sold over two hundred thousand copies in the UK as measured by the official charts company. The official music video for W released in November 2019 has over 16 million views on YouTube. The lyrics talk a lot about her style, referring to herself as coffee swag a lot and staying focused on making that money. The song was produced by Izzy Beats who is known for his producer tag Yo Izzy are you kidding me? W is coffee's fourth single to be certified silver in the UK and it caps off a successful year for the 21 year old her debut single toast which was also produced by easy was the first to reach the silver milestone in january 2019 before becoming gold in the uk in january this year repeat a collab with british rapper j huss was certified silver on february 26 2021 while rapture the title track from her grammy award winning ep was certified silver on august 6 2021 this year coffee also contributed the title track and the official soundtrack for the film the harder they fall the official video released last week currently stands at 1.6 million views on youtube the new developments come ahead of the release of coffee's first full-length album via rca records which is set for 2022 rapture won the grammy award for the best reggae album at the 62nd grammy award making coffee the youngest person at 19 years old and only woman to be awarded in the category so yes, people, big up yourself, Kaffee, and as I say, people, she's just a talented girl. That's all I can say. Anything she get, she deserves it, because she put out good music. She might not put out a lot of music, but when she does, she put out good music, and I think that is why she don't put out a lot. She don't flood the market. That means that the demand for Kaffee's music is very high. You see it, people? So let me know what you guys think about this, and Kaffee, congratulations. You see me? Anyway, people, that's it. You know. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.